Let's create bubbles in Godot. Create a mesh instance and assign a sphere mesh to it. Then we'll create a new shader material and a new shader. In the shader, set the shader type to spatial and create your vertex and fragment functions. First we'll get the bubbles distortion set up. Create a uniform sampler 2D called noise texture and a varying vector 3 called world position. In the vertex function, we'll first calculate the world position by multiplying our vertices by the world matrix. We're going to use this world position later on. Then, we'll sample our noise texture using the XZ component of our vertices, plus a vector 2 created from the time variable. This will cause the distortion to move over time. Finally, we'll add the height value we sampled from the texture to our normals and add this to our vertices. Go into your shader parameters and add a new noise texture. Now you can see our bubble is distorting over time, however it's a little sharp. To smooth things out, I'll create a new uniform float called Smoothness and give it a hint range between 0 and 1. Then, we'll multiply our vertices xz position by this smoothness factor. Now we can control how smooth or sharp the distortion is. I like a value around 0.1 or 0.05. To make this look more like a bubble, we're going to apply a Fresnel function to our material's alpha property. I'm going to create a new function called Fresnel, which takes in a vector 3 and a matrix, and it returns a float. The vector 3 will be our normal, and the matrix is going to be our camera's matrix. I'll just paste in the code to calculate the Fresnel, and you can copy it. The Fresnel function basically creates a gradient from the center of the object out to the edge of the object. I'll temporarily set the albedo channel to the Fresnel so you can see the effect. The center of the object is darker, while the outer edge of the object is light. And this effect works no matter where the camera is in relation to the object. Apply this Fresnel to the alpha property of your material, and now we have something that looks more like a bubble. You could stop here, but I want this to look even more like a bubble. You'll notice bubbles in the real world have colors all over them. We can simulate this effect by creating some colorful noise. There are a few ways of doing this. For example, in GIMP, you can create a new image and use the Render Plasma effect. Then you can go into Map and make the texture seamless. You can also create colorful noise in Blender by creating a plane and a new material, and creating a noise node and wiring the color channel to the material's color. Then you can bake this image. Make sure you make this texture seamless. Back in Godot, in your shader, create a new uniform sampler 2D called Color, and add your colorful noise texture to the shader parameter. We're going to sample the colorful noise texture and set the albedo. Rather than using the UV, I'll use the world position varying we set up in our vertex function, and add a vector 2 with the time variable. This will move the colors around the bubble over time. Finally, you can set the roughness property of your material to 0. This will make the bubble a little more shiny. Now you can use your bubbles for whatever you want. For example, you can set up a particle system to emit the bubbles, you can play around with how smooth or sharp they are, and you can play around with how quickly the colors move around them. As always, thank you for watching. Leave a comment if you're able to use this in one of your game dev projects. And if you enjoy this content, consider liking and subscribing. If you want to know how I created the caustics effect you see in this scene, I have a video up on my channel explaining how to create it.